Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Since you are really like the last case review we did, we are back with another one. And this time it's Thermal Take. They have sent us their mid tower V250 ARGB case. Since it's released in last year Feb, Thermal Take was quite ahead of their time by providing ARGB in their cases as standard. This mid tower case being aimed at the more budget section and being priced at just rupees 5000 INR, I'm really excited to check it out. Looking at the case, I can say Thermaltic does know how to design some nice looking cases and they are just not slapping sheets of metal together and calling it a day. This case has a mid tower form factor and is aimed at the more budget buyers. It does feature a 4mm tempered glass at the side held by 4 thumb screws and a front tinted acrylic panel which I really don't prefer as they get scratched super fast over use and cleaning. But it is super nice to be able to see the fan lighting rather than having a sheet of metal or plastic blocking the view. The front panel has slits with a mesh backing on each side for airflow which adds to the functionality of the case. Removing the front panel you can see the case comes with 3 ARGB fans. I must say these fans have some pretty good lighting for being stock fans. They are compatible with ASRock, ASUS, Gigabyte and MSI motherboards. This case comes with its own controller for the front 3 ARGB fans which also has a 3 pin fan power connector. If you want to sync up the RGB lighting with your motherboard, you can do so via the cable provided with the case itself. For fan support, you can have 3 120mm or two 140mm fans in the front, two 120mm or two 140mm fans at the top and a single 120mm fan at the back. Coming to the radiator support, on the front you can install a single 360mm or a 240mm and even some specific 280mm radiators as there is space for it even though they are not listed on the website which is a super nice hidden feature to have. However, you'll have to get rid of the hard disk cage in order to install a 360 or even a 280mm radiator. Moving to the top, you can see most of the area is for the fan grills with enough space for a 240mm radiator and there is ample space between the top panel and the motherboard standoffs to accommodate the radiator. You also get a standard removable magnetic dust filter at the top. Now coming to the I.O, you have your standard USB 3.0 port and two USB 2.0 ports which I feel could have been the other way around. We then have the audio and the microphone jack power and hard disk LED indicators, the start button and the restart switch which is rerouted as the LED control switch. The underside also has a dust filter but it's the normal standard plastic one which you get on most of the cases. This case has nice large feet at the bottom so you can get enough room for your power supply to breathe. Coming to the rear side, it has support for a 120mm fan or a 120mm radiator. The motherboard I.O. cutout, PSU cutout and the 7 expansion slots which are unfortunately the breakaway ones. There is about 70mm of space between the PSU shroud and the front of the case so no worries for your radiator and fan configurations. Hey guys, y'all can see I have a big chonky radiator from Thermaltake itself and I am just gonna try to fit it in the case itself. And as you all can see, it fits pretty decently. So that's good. The shroud also has a cutout so you can see your pretty power supply. This case supports up to full size ATX motherboards as per the website. However, if you look closely, this case has markings for EATX as well. But it will definitely make cable management a little tricky. For storage, you can install two 3.5 inch or two 2.5 inch drives in the drive cage and also two 2.5 inch drives at the back of the motherboard tray. Coming to a very important part, that is the back side. You will get an average of 20 millimeters of space at the back, which is plenty for a decent mid to high end builds cable management. It also has a decent amount of cable tie points, which will assist you for some easy cable management. Since the hard drive cage is removable, it will make enough space to easily install your PSU. Without the cage, you will have 360mm of space and with the cage, you will just be left with 240mm. So make sure you're not using a huge power supply as hiding the cables between the PSU and the hard disk cage might get a little tricky. All in all, this case is pretty well thought out with enough space and airflow for your high mid-end to your budget builds, which is exactly what this case is designed for and it does the job pretty well. With four pre-installed fans out of which three of them are ARGB, you've really got yourself a pretty good deal for that price point. 
other than the io not having enough usb 3.0 ports i really don't have any major complaints so if you're willing to spend 5000 on a case you can definitely buy this one and you will not be disappointed that is for the video we'll be back next week with another one until then like subscribe share and i will catch you all in the next one